Hey guys, it's Skip here. Tonight I'm going to be showing off some of my Hot Wheels cars. Yes, I love Hot Wheels. I'm a car guy. I bet you guys didn't know that. I like to have a lot of Hot Wheels around because I like to draw cars. I like to design cars. I've never built a car, but, you know, we can always dream. And, uh, man, who doesn't love Ford GTs? Can't get enough Ford GT. Not a very accurate model, but still, the lines are just sweet. I think this is from the Fast and Furious. Yep, that was a Fast and Furious car. And here's another Ford GT. And I've got another one over here that made it into the collection. Guess what? It's a Matchbox. Oh, man. Sometimes you just have to put a Matchbox in the collection. It's can't be helped. But, uh, yep, we've got some other Fords here. Got a Shelby Ford. Yep. I know these aren't really supercars, but... They are super Hot Wheels cars. Here we got the uh, the 007, the 007 Mach 1. Awesomely done. Just an awesome freaking Hot Wheels. And look at that. Love Hot Wheels. What else do we have over here? Oh, I love my little 33. Yeah. Just to make sure everybody stays in line. Where is he at? Oh my gosh, I lost my cop car. There it is. Cop car. Yep, really hard to find cop car. So let's get on to the juicy stuff. You know, I really love Lamborghinis. I got started collecting Lamborghinis kind of late in my collecting career. Yeah, but here's some really nice Lamborghinis. We got the, that's the Hurricane, I believe. Brand new car from Lamborghini. And we got this. Zesto Elemento, very fast Hot Wheels car track, track car, I mean, very fast, Woo. and then we got, here's a car, the Bagani Hura, all right, it's not a, it's not a Lambo, but it does have a Lamborghini motor inside, so, and it's built by Pagani, same guy who bought you the, um, oh shoot, I forgot the name of that car, <laughs> Here's a beautiful Lamborghini from Hot Wheels in, in like a lemony yellow, just gorgeous, gorgeous, incredible paint job from Hot Wheels on that. And I've got some more Lambos. Here's a Diablo. Yep. Who doesn't love the Diablo, man? I can't believe Hot Wheels stopped making the Diablo. Maybe it was... Um, you know, a, a licensing thing or something, but they stopped making Diablos. They do not manufacture this model any longer. And this car is pretty heavy, too. That's probably why they stopped making it. Lots of metal. But, uh, very fast track car. Very fast track car. And that was, like, the see-through, the see-through finish. That see-through finish where you can, like, see the... You're supposed to be able to see the inner workings of the car. I think that was an actual... That was an actual paint job. They actually put on the cars at one time. And let's see, any more Lambos? Um, da, 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 da. Yeah. This one. And this one. And this one. Some of these were really hard to find, man. These two? Oh my god, I had to really search for these cars. They were hard to find. Every little kid on YouTube's got one, though, it seems. You know, there's this one kid on here who, who does, uh, he does, uh, competitions with his cars and stuff I really like his videos they're actually pretty good I watch a lot of car race videos and stuff like that on YouTube too and like every once in a while I'll, 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 I'll tune in and watch one of his little Hot Wheels competition things that he does with his with his buddies in his in his dad's basement <laughs> and here's a Gallardo you know who would have thought that that would be the hot new tuner car for people with money the Gallardo I guess they're picking them up second hand these days and turning them into Hypercars, you know, uh, 200 mile an hour Gallardo becomes a 230 mile an hour blown Gallardo. Yeah, turbo. So I've got some other Hot Wheels that I really like that I've collected over the years. This is this is a turbulence, a totally fictional car, but it's got it's got 68 on the hood. That's the first year that Hot Wheels were made, and then on the side here, if you can if you magnify it, it's got some of the Hot Wheels designers signatures painted on it which is really cool you don't find these cars very often 
and uh, you know it's got it's got the uh, Spectra Flame blue on it. And, yeah, really nice car. Really love that car. That was that was that was a great find for me. And another one I've got is another one that's kind of a Spectra Flame blue. This isn't really Spectra Flame blue. This is kind of like aqua, really. But this one's really blue, and it's got Hot Wheels number one on it. It's got the white interior, and this is the early version Cobra with the. Uh, of course, it's got a Hemi. What else would you expect? Too bad. Too bad the paint inside the hood is is overblown on onto the motor because I've, I've got another Cobra that the motor looks really good with in, in the metal because they changed the metal to plastic on later cars and the cars are much lighter, not as good on the track. This is this this car is horrible on a loop though because it weighs so much. But they're you know nice collector car. This is a car that very rarely finds its way onto the track. This is on the shelf all the time. So, yeah. So, anyway, let's see. What else do I got as far as, like, Hot Wheels, hard-to-find collector's cars? Uh, I don't know. I guess you could say this Malibu is kind of like one. It's it's very dirty, <laughs> is what it is. It's a very dirty car. It's got a lot of dust on it. But, you know, it's got that nice Spectra Flame Blue. This The standard Hot Wheels with the white interior. You know, clear winch, clear windows, no tint. That's that's what that's what collectors like. Number three, that's number three. That's the number three uh, wheels, I guess. Very beautiful car. Really like it. So we better get to the we better get to the good stuff here. Here's another really cool car that I like. So we're doing supercars, right? Well, here you go. Another really hard to find Hot Wheels supercar, a Bugatti Veyron, man. Really early Bugatti Veyron, very hard to find. Rear end looks like a Chrysler Crossfire. Huh. You know, Veyrons are interesting. They look like they're like they're like a cross between a Toyota and a Volkswagen on on steroids. It's been to the gym for 20 years. Yeah, it's just a really. You know, I don't know if I would really want to own a Veyron. You know, if I could afford a supercar. You know. Would I want a Veyron? I mean, it's no question about it. It just claws its way past everything. But for, 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 for sheer fun and enjoyment, I would rather have this. Just give me one of those. That's what I want. I love Ferraris. Ferraris, man. You can't get enough Ferraris. We got Ferraris, Ferraris, Ferraris. Now, does anyone remember Magnum P.I.? Do you guys remember Magnum P.I.? Yep. Dun 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 CJ! Magnum, you cannot buy the Ferrari! Put it back now! We have the spotlight on you! Okay. So, this car is really cool. This is an actual car that, that, you know, number two, number two Ferrari, this car actually ran, and there's, you can find video of this car running in races. This is just a really cool Ferrari, just really cool, you know, and then, and then the, 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 this thing, I think there's only a handful of these on, you know, on the planet, you know, and surprisingly, they're not very expensive, but there's only a couple of them. I mean, you know, as Ferraris go, you know, as very rare Ferraris go, some of them are like, you know, $40 million. You know, I think this this one went for like, some guy picked up one of these for like a million, you know, not not too long ago. It's really cool. Really just most beautiful Ferrari race car ever. Really. I don't know too much about the history of that. It's a P6 or something like that. And who doesn't, you know, who doesn't love an Enzo? The Enzo, just the ultimate Ferrari. The ultimate Ferrari. If if you're gonna get, have any car, you know, I think there's only like two or four hundred Enzos on the planet. And if you can have any any Ferrari, that's the one you should get, or this one, <laughs> which is really cool too. <laughs> and then we've got this early bird here. These things, you know, just ten years ago, I saw these cars, and I forget what the heck they're called because I'm burnt. That I've, I've seen the, the, the GT 250s. You could pick them up for like a hundred grand, fifty grand, sixty grand, seventy grand. 
And now these things go for millions of dollars. Millions. It's incredible. And another beautiful Hot Wheels car, you know. And then the Daytona. The one Ferrari that I both hate and loathe. Um, I just don't get the styling. This, you know, it's it's very minimalist, kind of two eighties ish, and extremely boxy and flat and like you know, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Just put some sheet metal on it so we can drive. <laughs> Is what they were saying that day. And uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh yes, this. Yes, and we also have this. And the queen of the collection, the queen of the collection, you gotta have, you gotta have, you gotta have a fire truck because if you're gonna have a lot of race cars, you gotta have fire trucks. And, and then, and then, the very last thing I'm gonna show is my $25 Ghostbusters, which was a Christmas gift from my daughter. Who knows, I collect Hot Wheels, and I was so shocked when she gave me this. I was like...